What's going on YouTube? In the shop here doing an experiment. So I took the shafts out of these two trimmers here and I've got an extra one laying around. I've had to replace these over the years. You know, they just wear out and they usually wear out on this side of the, the weed eater. So as you can see, all of this, they're all good. But over here, these are two old ones that I've had to replace. You can see this one's still good, but these are bad. So what I'm thinking about doing is cutting these two in half and then weld it back together. That way I'll have a good side on each, on each end. And I'm gonna put it in the trimmer and see if it works. I mean, it only costs like 60 bucks to replace this. But if I can fix that for free, why not? All right, so I'll put it in this vise here and I'll butt it up the two ends and tighten it down. And what I did is I put one good, one bad, you know, across either way. So that way it doesn't matter where you cut it pretty much. I'm gonna just cut it right here at the same time. And then I'll use the two good ends and weld together. So I went ahead and lined it up on my level here to keep it straight. It's got a nice straight edge. And I got the, uh, the one that's still good, the one that's uncut, right next to it. As you can see, the, the ends are flush. And this is the gap that I have in between, you know, from the cut line. And I'm gonna keep that gap there and I'm just gonna fill it with weld and hopefully keep it straight and grind it down smooth and see if this works all right so I got a set of vice grips holding it right here and I'm gonna clamp my negative terminal of the welder here I left a little bit of gap for the weld to fill into I put a screw on each side just so it doesn't move and I have it against this uh, level right here. So hopefully it stays straight and works out for me. I got it welded. I just have to weld on this side now. I'm gonna make sure it's straight. And then after it's cooled down, I'll go ahead and grind it all smooth. I guess my weld held, so I'm going to go ahead and grind all this smooth. here side by side the good one and the one I welded to the same length there's the weld it's 
so we'll see how it works. So to take it out was very easy. You just have those three right here. This one goes into that and these two tighten it up, keep it from twisting. So I'm gonna see if I can get the shaft back in just as easy as it came out. Hopefully y'all can see this. A few moments later. So I went ahead and grinded it a little bit more and I put some lube on it. So to take it apart, all, you, all I had to do is take the head off and then pull it off and the shaft came right out. But to put it back in, I've learned you have to take both sides out. So I'm gonna see if I can get this in from this side and push it all the way through and then put that part back together. As you're putting this in here, they must have like some little sleeves inside of it to cut like a guide to kind of keep it centered. And that's what I'm trying to get it to go through. So you don't want to force it, you want to kind of like work it around. If I can get it in there. Use this vice grips. So I can actually grip the that shaft. We have to do it again. I think where I welded it, it's just not quite perfect. So I have to put a little bit of force behind it to get it in all the way. But let's see. As you can see, I got it through. That works. So I'm gonna put this side on first, I think. You wanna line this hole up with this one. Go ahead and tighten that up. And make sure the shaft is pushed in all the way this way before you tighten it up. I'm going to put this back in. There's a guide right here. You want to line this screw up with that one. You want to make sure it's, it's pulled out enough too, because if it's too much in, it won't it won't let it go on. And you may have to finagle it and give it a little a little force. And then there's a secondary screw that keeps it from turning and getting loose on you. Tighten that up. You also want to make sure you, the shaft is straight and everything is, you know, aligned right. You don't want the engine to be turned this way and the handle to be turned that way and this. You know, you want to kind of eyeball it and get it all right. All right, let me start this thing up and see if it has any vibrations or noise or if it even works. Let's give it a go.
less than an hour to do it, so I'm happy with that.